So let's talk about logical operators. So we just talked about comparison operators. So this is where is the value of a variable equal to something, not equal to something, so on and so forth. But what if what if the question's a little more wishy-washy? What if what if you need an and? Or what if you need an or, right? What if the value has to be a particular age and something like a gender? So are you allowed onto, let's say, a woman's only site? So if you're allowed, if you're going to be going onto a woman's only site, then it's a woman. So it needs to be equal to or above 18 and your gender needs to be female, right? So what if, what if it's something like that? Or what if it's an or? What if it's either the value of a variable is this or the value of a variable is something else. This is where we come in with logical operators. This is allows you in an if statement or in a loop, you can say and, uh, so if this is true and this is true, or you can say if this is true or this is true, then this code should run. That's what we're talking about with logical operators. So with that, let's go over to the computer. I can give you a demonstration on how this works. So this is a basic script for, uh, for logical operators. Again, we open with a PHP tag. And for this, we're going to be looking at, at pets. Basically, we're going to be looking at pets, and we're going to be analyzing pets. So the first thing that we do is we create a variable called dollar sign $Species. And currently, what we're going to do is we're going to set the value of that variable to K9, double quotation marks, and of course, semicolon. And we're going to uh, create a variable called age, dollar sign age, and we're going to set the value of that variable to 1, again, semicolon. And so then what we're going to do is we're going to come down here, and we have an if statement. And so in the if statement, what we are going to say is if, if the species is canine, and the age is less than or equal to 2, we are going to print it's a puppy. Right? So in order for something to be a puppy, it both has to be a dog and it has to be under a certain age at the same time. So with this, what we're going to say is we're going to say the value of the variable dollar sign species equal to, so double equal signs, and since this is a word, so basically a string, we're going to do a single quotation mark and say canine close single quotation mark. So if the value of a variable is species equals k9 and, so for and, we do two and symbols back to back, and then we say the value of the variable age is less than or equal to two, and then we close parentheses. So this looks like a normal uh, if statement, looks like a normal com uh, comparison operators, but we're adding in these, this logical operator here to say and, and so we close that out, then we do squiggly brackets, and then we all we're going to do is we're going to print, it's a puppy! And then again, for HTML formatting purposes, right here we're just going to print a break. And so if the species is canine and the age is less than or equal to two, we're going to print puppy. Then we're going to do another if. So what we're going to say is this is just a plain if statement, no else. If species equals canine, a, 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 or, so the, the, two, the two upright lines, so one upright line, another upright line, so if the species equals canine or the species equals cat, then we're go what we're going to do is we're going to print your pet is so cute. So if it's canine and the age is one, the first thing we're going to do is print it's a puppy, break, and then we're going to print your pet is so cute. So this is how this basically looks. And so with that, what we can do is we can go up here to the thing. Do logical.php. And so we can see it's a puppy. So that, that triggers because it's a canine and the age is two. And then your pet is so cute. The reason is because it's a canine. Now what if we come here and we change this to cat? So now species equals cat, age equals one. What will happen then? So we hit file, save. Then we upload the logical. And now, so now there's no longer anything talking about a puppy. It just says your pet is so cute. So basically, this is, uh, this is how the logical operators work. What you're looking for is and. So if something is true and something else is true, 
trigger an event, or if something is true, or something else is true, then trigger something. And so this is basically all you're looking at with these logical operators. So that's just a brief demonstration of how the logical operators work, and more or less when you're new to coding, you're going to be using AND or OR uh, in order to, to see whether something should be triggered. That's, that's how you're going to be doing the comparisons. But as with everything in coding, there are a lot more options for you. So if you go over to php.net, you can see that there are more options for logical operators. As I showed you, uh, I use this, the, the standard way that I learned to code for using AND or using OR. So again, either the two uprights for OR or the two, the two AND symbols for AND. Uh, but in PHP, you can simply type AND if you like. You can type OR if you like. Or there's something ZOR, X-O-R, if either A or B is true, but not both. So that's one thing that... that that can be a little confusing, especially when you're coding. So basically, if A is true and B is false, then it's true. If A is false and B is true, then it's true. But if A is true and B is true, then it's false. Again, this makes sense when you're doing some higher level coding. Probably right in the beginning, you don't really need to worry about Zor. Uh, and then you also have the, just the simply the, the exclamation mark uh, point, uh, which is not. So basically, this is not true. So these are some of the different logical operators you can use. Again, in different ways, you can use the logical operators. I would suggest when you're in the beginning, though, you use the two basic ways that I showed you. Once you get more comfortable with using logical operators and start doing more sophisticated things, things, then you can worry about Zor and the rest of this. So that's all there is to logical operators really in PHP, and that's that's why it matters. Basically all you're doing is you're just tying a lot of different comparisons together and seeing whether you know multiple things are true, one thing is true, one thing is false, so on and so forth. Again, this is one of the reasons that I would tell you it's a good idea to pick up a $20 or $30 book, because once you start looking at things like comparison operators and the rest of this, if you can just open up a book and you have, you have it, you it dog-eared and you can look at exactly what you're doing, it makes life a lot easier. Again, this particular book just has everything listed out here, and so especially when you're new to coding, you can just go, okay, I need to do this, and I need to do that, and again, makes life easy. So that's all there is uh, to logical operators and PHP, and that's why they matter.